Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Cardano's ADA, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative smash that like button I do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord guys check it out linked in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. In fact it is the first place that we go to to notify you of everything that is going on in the crypto space. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down into this, right? Cardano paired up with USDT on the daily chart here and Binance is our data source. Now, for those who have followed along with the Bitcoin update that we did today, uh, you'll know that the moves to the upside are pretty much just being driven from the DXY. And this comes for many different reasons. One of the main ones that I can see within the data happens to be that um, a lot of people who were holding USD have come out of USD in favor of other currencies, specifically after uh, the kind of hawkishness of the Fed yesterday. Uh, that essentially is where they had a 25 uh, basis points increase um, and the continuation of those increases with no pivot in sight. And um, so a lot of people were dumping their USD in favor of other currencies. Now, whilst that was happening, the DXY dropped down. And whilst the DXY was dropping down, it meant that you need more dollars to buy your cryptocurrency assets, ADA included, Bitcoin included, and so forth. So we know that the moves to the upside are being kind of artificially created through reactions to the markets or small specifically other markets not necessarily crypto and now here we can see that we have been pushing up quite aggressively on ADA and don't get me wrong there are volumes of pockets here and there um, but those particular areas if I actually throw this on uh, and bring this down you can kind of see that we're kind of trapped inside this little range here now there's you can kind of see there's uh, it's just adjusted that's good uh, we can kind of see that we're entering into an area where there isn't a lot of volume in here now we can push up higher and we can kind of pierce through some of these highs that's fine but we're going to run out of uh, you know kind of volume to be kind of you know transacted the higher that we end up going here so we want to be a little bit aware when we take a look at the move to the downside you can see there's actually like three to four different key areas on the volume profiles uh, one being down here towards 26 this one up here at about 31 and a little bit higher at around 45 okay so if i turn that off for a second we can then focus in on and think okay well where is our 200 ema our 200 ema at the moment is about 42 cent so a wick above this but not closing above it might be our rejection point that we want to kind of focus in on okay so we can kind of highlight that we've been talking about the uh, the move to our 200 ema for quite some time and if you remember a little while back a few weeks ago and we're talking about a swing uh, to the upside on ADA. Uh, it did actually be a, a lot more aggressive than I thought it was going to be, mainly because of the DXY. But, you know, we were coming towards an end of a stretch and we're looking for that progression upwards. And um, so we had that. Uh, so we have seen this move quite nicely to the upside, very much expected. And now, you know, we're kind of expecting corrections right across the board so what we see is a weekly stochastic rsi that is overbought okay so we know we're reaching those upper limits on our weekly you can also see here that we're testing out our trend line okay for another time uh, so again keeping an eye on that we're well below the 200 ema so we know that we're not in a bullish trend to the upside or anything like that we should consider things bearish if we're below uh, such a 200 ema uh, more on the daily or the weekly so both of those we're below but i like the weekly because it gives us a much bigger macro view and uh, not only are we overbought but we're well below the trend line and we're below the 200 ema now as i said on the daily chart where well, this is a b wave movement but that would be invalidated if we were to go up higher than 44 cents so if we do and are able to break past the 200 EMA and cross the 44 cent level, then it does mean that this ABC structure has been completed. Okay, and we can say that the, the current low at the bottom is an end of a structure. It does not mean, however, that that is the bottom of the bear market corrections here for Cardano's ADA, because I'm still looking at this as a potential double zigzag pattern now going above 44 cent would be interesting but considering we're overbought um it would put an end it would say a triple zigzag would be invalidated but a double zigzag is what we've had a correction up and we are nothing but correct here loads of corrections being strung together a reversal to the downside could just start a whole new structure uh, and again that could plot us even lower than we were anticipating before this is a case of sometimes short-term money is not the best and actually you're better off to have the bearish structures play out faster um, and go down lower um, you know on the shorter time frames rather than kind of have these bear market rallies and all this hype because essentially you might actually hurt yourself longer term because let's move to the upside here 
could actually end up creating a new structure to the downside that could take it lower than if we were to have stayed in the structure originally. But nonetheless, you know, we're going to follow the market structure. We're going to see if we get a break of that structure. And then obviously, we're going to update you accordingly. We'll follow the data and whatever the data tells us to do, we'll do that. Um, so always have a plan for whatever scenario unfolds. At the moment, my lows are still valid. And I am still looking anywhere between 19 and 22 cent on the ADA side of things. But that is subject to change depending on how we structure out next. Now, on this daily chart, we can see the stochastic is moving up to the overbought. So we want to be aware of that. On our volume profile, the glaringly obvious is that none of this is really driven from volume. The volumes are decreasing whilst the price is going up higher. So we call this a bearish divergence because you can't continue pushing the price up higher if the volumes continue to drop down. It basically tells us that reversal is imminent. Now, not only do we see that on the volume profile, but we can also see it on the RSI. Here we have a high RSI, okay, up into the overbought area. And actually what we do is we can see that we have, if I draw a trend line on our RSI just here, you can see that the RSI is going down. While that RSI is going down, we have price movement going up. Okay, again, this is a divergence. Okay, this basically tells us that we're running out of upward momentum here and we're about to start shifting to the downside. And this is also visible from the divergence indicator where it's also getting flagged up as a bearish identification on the divergence of price and RSI. Okay, now in here, you can obviously see H being the hidden bearish divergences and just standard divergence that you see here as well. So you've got to bear in mind there's a lot of things to kind of think about and lots of things to talk about when it comes to the price action of ADA. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to leave this video there. Just a nice brief update on Cardano's ADA. We want to see how we react to our 200 EMA. I want to see if we can cross the 44 cent if we can, then we can put a pin in the current structure and start mapping out the next one. But I am concerned that actually this move to the upside is artificial in its creation and it is not going to last forever. Higher highs, higher lows have a tendency to break down. Remember that. Until the next one though, have a fantastic day.